everybody, so in Group D we had the game Italy against Uruguay that was a really important game because from these two teams only one would be able to go to the next round. The tie would be good for Italy but for Uruguay the win is the only result possible if they want to go to the last 16. And they end up winning the game 1-0, they win the game and they are able to go along with Costa Rica to the next round of the World Cup. But let's talk about the game. A lot of times the game was really slow, we know that Italian football is a slow paced type of game but Italy didn't need to go looking for the goal, it was Uruguay that had to take the expenses of the game and go up the field. They tried to do that but a very good defensively organized team of Italy preventing a lot of times for them to do that but Uruguay was a team that had more will to go up the field and try to score and win the game. But this match was really poor in chance, especially in the first half. In the first half there was for Italy only one chance, a free kick by Pirlo that he shoots and Muslera, the Uruguayan goalkeeper, has a nice save. This was really in the beginning of the game and at minute 32 it's time for Uruguay to have its great chance in a nice team play, a nice combination between several players of Uruguay. The ball ends up to Luis Suarez, the shoots and the Italian goalkeeper makes a save, the rebound goes to Lodeiro that also shoots and Buffon once again really nice save stopping the Uruguayans from scoring the first goal of the game. No more big chances in the first half and in the second half we had a little bit more of the same especially in the first few minutes. Uruguay playing more up the field more closer to the Italian box even though Italy had a little bit more possession but that's because of the type of game that Italy has but it was Uruguay that was looking for the goal and at minute 58 they have a chance Christian Rodriguez has a nice dribble on the left he passes to Luis Suarez that makes a really good through pass into the box by Christian Rodriguez once again that shoots but the ball goes a little bit wide and it still tied the game nil nil but Uruguay is looking for the score. At minute 59 there's a really important play in the game. Marquisio gets a red card, it was a really hard foul over a Uruguayan player but I don't think it was for a red card, it was a really hard foul but the referee gives him the red card so Italy is from this point till the end of the game playing one man down and because of this Uruguay can go even more up the field, have a lot more possession passing the ball around much closer to the Italy's box they are really closing in on them at minute 65 Suarez gets a loose ball goes into the box shoots but once again Buffon saves it it's been very difficult finally for Uruguay at minute 81 a corner the ball is crossed into the box and Diego Godin heads the ball into the net Uruguay is in the front of the scoreboard with this result they go to the next round and they completely deserve this goal till the end of the game Italy tries now to go looking for the score looking for the goal but it's too late they can't do it, Uruguay wins the game and gets the second place that gives them the ability to go to the next round. The game ends up 1-0 and I think perfectly reflects what was this game. Really boring at some parts, really slow with Uruguay with a little bit of an upper hand in the game trying to go for the score, Italy very slow on the back trying to just have the tie so they can go to the next round and that backfired for them because Uruguay was able to score a goal. So everybody, a few players had a really nice game Christian Rodriguez for Uruguay, Luis Suarez, Edison Cavani that even though was playing really down on the field he helped a lot constructing plays and also defending that they needed when Italy had the ball. And for Italy Pirlo always plays good but for me the man of the match was Gianluigi Buffon. The Italian goalkeeper had a few saves that were instrumental for them not to conceding more goals and not conceding earlier. So for me the man of the match is the veteran Gianluigi Buffon. So everybody I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and share the video with all your friends, subscribe to my channel and as always my name is Bruno Ferreira and I'll see you next time. <laughs>